Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about reorganizing our garage. Um, we don't have a ton of space out here. It is a two and a half car garage, um, but it's just not, um, when once we have the vehicles in here, we fill it up quick. So we do have a shed and everything, but for right now, we're just going to be focusing on the garage and getting all of this cleaned up. Our main area of focus is going to be the shelving unit and stuff by the door over here. So as you can see, my lovely daughter Payson <laughs> um, has been doing gymnastics out here since we got the vehicles out. But what the focus is going to be is to take that bookshelf that's behind her that's to the right of the door. That one we are going to get rid of. It is an old TV stand. It's it's not great. So anyway, I redid my craft one. You probably saw that in the last video. And we had some extra shelving from that. So we're gonna use that out here and put that in the space that's right there by the stairs where those boots are. So once we get everything moved from over here, we'll actually be able to utilize that coat rack and then have everything else on the other side of the door. That bookshelf just never fit on that side of the door. So this was the only way that we could really set it up and be functional. So I am going to go ahead and clean over here by these boots, um, get that cleaned out, get the shelving unit out here, and then Payson is going to take it away from there. So let's go ahead and get started.
now that we got all that cleaned up, I am going to go ahead and get these rugs put back and then go in and grab that shelving unit from the craft room that I'm no longer using in there and get that put on the other side of this door. Um, we also have a couple more of these. Um, we had I've used these in my craft room for years. Um, I ended up needing another one, and of course Menards does not carry them anymore. Um, this one is smaller. They do carry bigger ones, um, and I have to have everything match or it drives me crazy. So we went ahead and brought these out to the garage. So I'm going to put the one here um, that you can see me putting out, and then I'm going to put two other ones on the other side of the garage next to the refrigerator um, and we're going to kind of reorganize that over there as well um, and get that cleaned up but we got all new storage units for the or shelving units I should say for storage for the craft room and then we're just bringing these out here um, so that we can still use them.
this all cleaned up over here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this mat in um, that we put like our chore boots and stuff like that on. Um, I'm gonna put that on this side of the door where that bookshelf was before. And that way we can use that coat rack like I was saying at the beginning of the video. Um, that way we can utilize that more for like coveralls and coats and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, um, clean up some more, and then I'm probably going to take a leaf blower and really get all of the dog hair and dust and all of that cleaned up out there. And yes, Pace, and I just saw that. taking a leaf blower um, just on the lowest setting and going around all of the outside perimeter of the garage um, getting underneath everything cleaning everything up um, it really does a good job that brooms and stuff just you can do it with a broom it just takes a lot longer you have to move everything I like doing this initially and then getting everything moved and then going in and deep cleaning further um, but I like getting all of the dog hair and all of that out with this to begin with um, just so that way you don't have the clumps flying around everywhere it kind of gets it going without stirring a whole lot of stuff up and then um, you can go back in and clean afterwards um, and kind of do the the detailed cleaning um, this is just kind of a pre preliminary cleaning to get the majority of it out um, and then um, I'm gonna have my husband come up and we're gonna move this coffee table and the gymnastics bar and <laughs> the coolers and all of that get all that picked up get the shelving units next to the refrigerator and then we will go from there and I'll get more deep cleaning done after that once we get all that stuff moved out.
here is the finished product. I am really happy with how this turned out. I am so glad to have it clean and organized for the spring, summer. Um, we did bring some toys up from the shed. Um, we brought the side by side up, put the truck down in the shed. Just for now, um, we are gonna go for a ride later. So we just wanted to have that up here and ready so that we're ready to go. Um, but I'm really happy with all this turned out. I'm really glad to have this project over. Um, it needed to be done. I didn't want to do it um, and here is how the shelving units look next to the fridge over here um, we just put them here we do have them tied to the wall um, anchored to the wall so they will not fall over but just for water and stuff like that um, but I'm really glad to have this project done and I'm really happy with the way it turned out thank you so much for sticking with us and watching and we hope to see you later bye bye